Hi there everyone. Today we are going to be uh, doing a pretty quick tutorial. Um, this is going to be based on how you make your own gradients and save them and things like that. Um, I got this as an idea off one of my comments on Google Plus, so thank you for that. Um, what we're going to be doing here is just, like I said, making our own gradients. And so if you don't have your gradient panel uh, pulled up, I'm going to go ahead and close these tabs real quick and I do apologize that you can't see this but I've as you notice my um, theme has changed um, I keep on trying to find themes to where all this white white is not here anymore but for some reason um, in I don't know it's it's like that now but what you want to do is you want to go ahead and go into the corner right here and go to add tab and then you want to go down and find gradients and click on it and it'll pull it up. You can pull it up in either one of these tabs. Um, you could also undock it and then come right here and you could dock it on the side right here. And uh, I don't know, for this we might be doing that. Um, so what we want to do is you have all these options down here. You could edit a gradient create a new gradient, duplicate a gradient, and delete a gradient, and then you could also refresh your gradients panel. Um, but before we start this, uh, you need to go into edit, and then go into your preferences, and then go down to folders, and click on gradients. And right here, you, it should pop up your writable folders. And now, if you got a 64-bit, um, I don't know if, if GIMP creates a GIMP-2.8 um, folder anymore, um, but you could go and create your own. It's pretty easy. You just go into your, your files wherever you want to save it and uh, create a GIMP, uh, this is the wrong one, a GIMP 2.8 folder. And uh, you could just start adding your own folders in here. Then you want to create a gradients folder and then come over here to your uh, gradients folder and then you will want to um, click on this link for new and uh, then you'll want to open it right here and you want to search um, but I'm not going to do that right now so I'm going to go ahead and cancel and you'll just search and you'll just find your new uh, gradient folder that you created or you could go into your program files GIMP2 share GIMP 2.0 and gradients and Make sure they get saved there. That way they get saved out. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cl click on create new gradient. And let me widen this panel out over here. And I'll go ahead and make that smaller. And then over here, that way you can see. You'll see that you have your gradient panels. And you'll notice that this one at the far left, you cannot move. And this one on the far right you cannot move you can move the one in the middle what you want to do to change the color is you want to right click on this little black half triangle thing here and you'll see the left end point color well you get all your options here you got foreground color um, background color all that you could change it to transparent but we're not going to do that right now we'll just go ahead and click on the color and um Another thing I wanted to show you is if I'll leave this link in the description, I think it's a uh, color.adobe.com um, and it's got a color wheel. And the cool thing about this is, is that it helps you with complemental colors. So I'm clicked on this one right here. So I'm going to grab the hex code for it. I'm just going to copy that and then I'm going to jump back over here into GIMP. And I'm going to put the hex code in there. I'm going to hit enter. And we'll do that green right there. And then I will bounce back over to here. And I'm going to click on this blue color. And I'm going to control copy that hex code there. And then I'm going to go back to GIMP. And we will go come over here to the right. And you'll want to go down to the right endpoint color. And I'm going to put the hex code in there. Just going to copy it in there and press OK. And then you can move this around how you would like. 
You could also uh, come right here. I got my color wheel. And we can just make a kind of darker bluish color. And then just grab this color right here and then drag it up. And then drag and drop it in there. And you'll see that now you got the color in there. I'm going to move that over some. Just like that. And then up here, you'll want to name it. So I'll just put uh, my gradient three, just so I could keep them all in there. And you'll see that it automatically pops up over here. And then all you want to do is just click save. And um, it, there ain't no pop-up window or nothing, at least in Windows on mine, there's not. You just want to click it and it saves and then you'll see your gradients up here. So I'm going to go over to the gradient panel and uh, the tool options. I got radial right now. I'm just going to go ahead and drag out just like that. And that's what that looks like that. I'm going to control Z that and I'm going to flip the colors around. Flip it around again. So you see that it's pretty simple to save out your gradients. And pretty easy to make. I'll just go ahead and oops, I'll close that tab. And then I will just come over here. We're gonna click on new again. Then we're gonna right click and then left color type. Actually, let's go uh, right color type. And then let's go um, foreground color and transparent. Just like that. And now we got transparency. We got a little bit of blue in there. Let's go ahead and right click and go add this color in. We can grab the color picker and let's uh, click right here and grab this blue color. Press OK. And we'll just name this. My gradient four and then I'll click save and you'll see that it pops up there. And then I'm going to go ahead and delete this layer and create a new layer and just drag out. And now you see that we got to this cool kind of gradient here. I'm going to flip the color around. Control Z. Let's go ahead and this white here. Just so actually let's make it black. It's okay. Just drag and drop that color on there. And we're still on our gradient tool. Control Z that. Let's go ahead and flip the colors. So you can make a pretty cool vignette or whatever you need. I use gradients a lot to mix with uh, my images. Um, I like creating a new layer. And then, um, let's see here. Let's go to my gradient two and I like just blending these in so I could have this and then just change the mode to uh, I don't know I don't know if anything will work on black we could do hard light and stuff like that so this was just a quick GIMP tip um, on how to create and save your gradients I know some people um, don't know how to do that. So I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys a little bit about that But it's pretty simple and just remember um, To add another endpoint um, You can control click and work on this side control click and you'll be working on this side I'm Trying to remember There used to be a way To add an endpoint in here but anyways, um, just bring up your color wheel or you could go over here and play with your colors over here if you want. And you can just drag and drop into your gradient and create more endpoints. And that's how you get um, crazy looking gradients like this um, or like this. So you could create some pretty cool stuff. Out of this and gradients are really really useful for uh, a lot of things so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial please like and subscribe for tons more tutorials comment below if you have any uh, ideas thank you and have a good day